Hey, this is Tanner from Nuts and Bolts Speed Chain with part 3 of this Gantt chart series. Fast and easy edits you can make to your Gantt chart or timeline within the Office Timeline add-in, which allows you to do some pretty incredible things in seconds that would otherwise take you forever to pull off in PowerPoint. At this part in the series, I've turned my Excel data into this fully editable PowerPoint graphic in just about 30 seconds, which you can check out here if you missed it. Now I'll show you my five favorite formatting tricks, including how to turn the entire graphic into a native PowerPoint table if you also want to incorporate the underlying data back into your presentation. And I've split these five videos up into five separate videos and add them to a playlist so you can jump around in between them any way you like. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Chain, and I'll see you at happy hour in between them. And let's say that I don't want these dates on the right side. I'd rather have the August or the left side of the date at the beginning of my taskbar and the ending date on the right side. Now, normally, if you wanted to split your dates in PowerPoint, you would either need the control shift drag another object here to the left, or if I just delete that, you would have to add a text box or rectangle 